in and laying in the background. I'm using some yellows and whites. I'm going to use some reds. And these are warm colors, but I'm also going to come in with a little bit of cool, cooler colors because I don't want it to be too warm over here. But I want it to remain pretty light over in this side. I want to make sure to get right up next to the head. Sometimes I will paint everything a little bit past where I originally wanted it to be so that when I come in and paint the background, I can actually like paint right over it and it will make a nice defined edge. So if you did not do that, you have to make sure to come in very close, get right up next to the edge. You can blend it as much or as little as you want. If it's starting to blend together too much, you remember that you need to either change brushes or wipe it off with a paper towel so you can clean your brush so that you can blend more. I'm laying in more white over here and some of these other colors. I'm blending that as well. When you can get pretty thick in the background, you want to make sure that you really do cover your canvas. You don't want to see canvas through it. So I'm chunking this in, getting up close next to even the windmill. I want it to be kind of darker down here, so I'm laying in some dark colors like purples and bringing in like reds and things that I've already used. Notice there's no new colors that I have not used in the foreground. If you bring a color into your background that you have not used in your foreground, you want to make sure that you come and you bring it into the foreground. Usually that's pretty easy with oil paint as long as everything is still wet. It does not have to be the same value throughout the whole thing. As you can see here, I didn't leave it the same value. Coming in, just giving some definition, working a little bit more on the fingers, making sure that they stand out. And they're getting the little white edges. Sometimes it's the little details that really make it look a lot more realistic. And a lot of just combing in and defining as you're starting to finish up this painting. Remember, I can blend this as much or as little as I want in the background. You want to kind of go around and make sure you didn't miss specific areas. Like this little back of his collar that you see behind the uh, back of the windmill. See just a little tiny bit of that, then continue to finish your painting. 